my daughter came over for a visit and handed me this envelope. I asked her, what is this for? And she said, it's actually some pearl beads from her office mate, which she wanted me to... This one is a pearl studded clasp. This is actually white and this one is sort of a peachy color. So now what am I going to do? So I decided to just pop this out and there you go. Just clean that up a little bit. Nice and clean and I'll put that away to use somewhere else later on. I have these broken bits of jewelry which has a little glass diamantina. So what I'm going to do is just take that off. Just going to open this up. And out she goes. I'll just test this first to see if it fits. There you go. Perfect. So now I'm just going to put a dab of glue on it. Just a couple of drops. And I'll stick that on to there. And I'll just put that aside and let it dry. And I also have a trailer hitch clasp. This one actually sort of pops out. If you just press on the round ball on top of it, so it sort of comes off like that. So I don't know whether to use the trailer hitch clasp or the Diamantina studded clasp now. So. Since she just wants a simple one, I'll figure it out later on, see which one I grab first. But, first of all, to start off with, I need to make some French wire. And I don't have any French wire. I thought I might just as well make one. So now I'm going to show you how to make a French wire. To start off with, get a little pin. So it's quite sharp on the end, so I'm just going to blunt this up so it doesn't prick me. So I've got a file. There you go. Nice. It doesn't prick me anymore, so, so you can see. And what I'm going to do is take a 0.2 millimeter or a 32 gauge sterling silver wire and so I'm just going to clean my wire and so you can see all the marks there. So, and so a couple of times. And I'm taking 20 centimeters long. So I'll just measure that there to there. So this will actually make two French wire or gimp. I'll just snip that off. And so now I'll take my pin and I'm putting my wire just a little bit against it. And I'm just going to wind it up. And then as I wind it up, you can see that it's sort of loose. So I'll just push that with my fingernail and continue winding it up until I get to the end. So now I'm nearly to the end and I still, I can still see some gaps there. So what I'm going to do is just push that, so you can push that, or you can wind it again. So if you just keep winding that, it will tighten up. So there you go. Quite happy with that, so now I'm just going to trim off the tail. So I'll take it off from here, and I'll just trim off the ends. There you go. I'm just going to take sort of half, roughly, and that just divides them. So now I can trim that off. So just trim it there. Sort of roughly the same size. And if you find that there's still a little bit of wire on the end that's flicking through, like this one here, just trim it. There you go. 
on the other side as well. Done. And so now I'll take my thread. I have quite a long thread here. The length of my necklace is about 16 inches. And so I am doing a double. That way it'd be stronger. And since the whole of my bead is quite large, can afford to take quite a bit of thread. So I've got it on my beading needle. And I'll just do a loop on the end. Just a couple of times. Even though that's quite a big knot, it's still going to slip through my bead. What I do is just put a little bull nose clip on the end of that. So now I'm going to put two beads. I'm putting a small two millimeter sterling silver bead as well because of the bead is quite large so if I just put my gimp straight through that or my French wire straight through that it'll just go through so that just sits nicely there and if I put say for example put my gimp through see how it just goes through so we'll put a little bead first And then we'll take our French wire or our gimp, put it through our needle. We'll take my Diamante clasp and put it through the split ring. And I'll just put that through the center of my gimp. And I'm just going to bend that through just to make the two ends meet. So now I'll put my thread through my bead again. It's come off but doesn't matter. We'll come back to it. So I'll put it through my two millimeter sterling silver bead and through my glass bead here. Or my pearl bead. And I'll just pull that through. And again, so that's already the center of our gimp. So now, so it just protects the thread. So it doesn't rub against the thread and breaks the thread off. I'm just going to do a knot just to secure this first up. And I'm just going to do a couple of times, go through that one. Pulling it through, so that's all nice and tight. I'll put through the second bead, and I can actually take this off now. And I'll just tie this one, just do a knot a couple of times, fairly tight. So now I'm just going to put a little glue onto that knot. And we'll just let it dry before we put the next bead. Now that my glue is dried up, so I'll just cut off the tail here. Just so we can have it nice and neat. And so now we'll put through our next beads. So I've now finished stringing through my pearl beads. So now I'll we'll take my two millimeter metal bead, put it through, and then I'll put my other gimp or my French wire, and I'll take the other end of this clasp, pull it off, and then put it through the ring. And again, we're doing the centering it. And we'll put it through our two mil bead. 
and we'll just pull that tight and we'll put it through the glass bead so I'll put one since I have a lot of thread left over so I might just as well thread it through but I'll just do a knot here making sure it's all nice and tight still yep and then we'll do the next one and we'll do another knot and we'll put it through the next one and we'll do another knot again so we just keep doing this until we run out of thread so I'm happy with that now so I'm just gonna do one more knot pull it through and then I'll put it through the next bead or the next pearl bead and I'll just put a dab of super glue on that knot there on the last knot and if I just let that through and this one I'll just trim this off there you go so the thread doesn't show through so now a little pearl choker or pearl diamonded finish so now we'll do the earrings <laughs> 